Here we are in the San Francisco Botanical Garden at Striving Arboretum, soon to be known as the San Francisco Botanical Garden, formerly known as Striving Arboretum, had been free for some 70 years. And then the Botanical Garden Society paid a lobbyist, Sam Lauter of BWML, an infamous lobbyist firm, hundreds of thousands of dollars to privatize the place, put in this $7 fee, which is members of the Botanical Garden Society don't pay. And volunteers, of course, come in straight through here through the back. And they're actually using this to get people to pay the $7 and pimping out Indian culture. There's a, a Mexican American here who comes here and he's a former, uh, he used to be in the uh, Marines and he's very proud of his Indian ancestry yet they, they target him uh, and have the police arrest him regularly and throw him out. Uh, a lot of locals I know just have stopped coming. But this is really beyond parody. You know, here you have an exclusionary place where you have to pay $7 to get in. So you can see Indians in the native plant garden. The native plant garden here, one of the few nice signs where it remains, the, the wooden sign here was uh, paid for, uh, was put in place to commemorate Gavin Newsom's uh, grandfather after whom the garden is named. Uh, these people don't know anything about the Botanical Garden Society and what they've done to this place. It's really sad uh, to see people like that being conned, volunteering their time, and a fraction of the people coming here could come here if only the fees were removed. Uh, it's very unfortunate the open space in San Francisco is all about money and everything is just about money and taxing people twice. Uh, and once this uh, $15 million building goes back down here, which is partially subsidized by taxpayers, it's going to be a real disaster for this place. But the wealthy will win, as they always 